Um, Joe, earlier when you talked about um, looking at the different uh, minister, we have the Secretary of State and the minister specific for certain policy areas. Um, there are also MPs who hold the, hold the role of parliamentary private secretary. What do they do and how are they different to a minister's private office who, you know, each minister will have their own private secretary and there will be a principal private secretary who looks after the overall, uh, overall private office. Uh, and those usually are civil servants. But what about the, private, the parliamentary private secretary? Yeah, so if you're a minister in your government department, you have a group of civil servants who are running your private office. Um, before we leave that group, you will also have a special advisor in your department who is responsible for making the links between uh, your party and the policies of your department. And they, they are the only sort of civil servant that's allowed to take that role. They have this dual role of being political and being a civil servant. Then over in the House of Commons, you will have your MP's office dealing with your constituency work. And your parliamentary private secretary is a backbench MP. Um, they're there to support you in the House of Commons. Uh, make sure that you're in the right place at the right time. They're there to sort of negotiate if other backbench MPs are trying to get hold of you or, or want to have an argument with you or lobby with you. But they're also your eyes and ears in the House of Commons trying to support you, let you know what's going on, keep you in touch with the grassroots 